Hey y'all, welcome back to our YouTube channel. I know this video is a little unconventional, but I thought it would be better to speak from the heart. This video has been about a year in the making, and I've been dreading making this video, talking about my experience, but if I can help just one person get through what I am going to talk about, then it's okay. So this week for the fourth years, fourth years of medical school is going to be probably one of the best weeks in your career. Today, a lot of you are going to find out at 8 a.m. whether you matched or not. Matched meaning getting into a residency program. And then on Friday, you find out where you're going to go. But there's going to be some of you that get the email saying that you didn't match. And I thought I would just give my experience and how I navigated through it to help you. So how my school did it was that um, obviously Monday is when everyone finds out. Everyone finds out at 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. I'm only saying PST because I'm from California. And so they said at the like pre-meeting for match that if you didn't match, you would get a call at around like 7.45 a.m. Because those people that don't match find out sooner because you have to do scramble week, which is a whole other video in and of itself. So I remember getting up that morning at like around 7.20 and I was texting my really, really best buddy in med school, Saba, freaking out, didn't know what was going on, but just being like, you know what, it's okay, whatever happens, happens. And then my phone starts ringing and I look at the time and it's seven. 35 and it's the dean's number and my heart dropped and I pick up the phone and she tells me that I didn't match and that I need to go to the secret location to figure out how I'm going to scramble into a program there are no words to describe that feeling of shame. Oh, I'm getting emotional. Embarrassment. Sadness. Questioning what you did wrong. And what made it hard for me was that my brother, who was also a fourth year medical student, didn't even bother to wake up because he, I mean, he was good. He was solid going into ortho he didn't have to worry about those kinds of things and i was so happy for him but i was so sad for myself and i remember packing up my stuff because you have to go immediately because the soap like the scramble process of getting into a residency happens that day starts that day and so applications were due at like noon so what happens is you go to a secret location if your school has one if not which sucks if you don't, you're kind of at home alone trying to revamp your application, figuring out what programs you're going to apply to, if you're even going to apply into the specialty that you wanted to go into in the first place. So I remember calling my brother, he wasn't picking up, knocking on his door, he was asleep and I was like, you know what, it's okay, I'm not going to bother him, I'm just going to let him rest. I go to the secret location and I find out I'm not the only person in my class who didn't match. And the next four hours were kind of a blur. My brother finally picked up the phone, heard my voicemail of me crying, saying I didn't match, and literally sped over, didn't even like wash his face or brush his teeth, just put on slippers and drove all the way to where I was, which was maybe like 20, 30 minutes away from where we lived. And some people may not see not matching as a big deal, but... It literally can change the whole trajectory of your path to becoming a physician. You may not have any spots, scramble spots available in your own specialty that you wanted to get into. 
So then you have to weigh, do you want to just not match and take a year off and then reapply? Or do you want to scramble into a program, into a specialty that you didn't even think was available to you? Um, and I know this video is kind of all over the place, but I'm just trying to speak from the heart. Um, it was a cluster F, the, the scramble process last year. Typically how it's supposed to go is you submit your application Monday and then Tuesday, Wednesday are like interview process where programs are hitting you up. You're doing interviews either through the phone, Skype, um, and then Thursday is when you get your offer. And I think I was more bummed about Thursday um, than um, I was about Monday. So what happens Thursday is basically there are three rounds for us because, I don't know, I guess the, the site crashed or something. Submitting applications was delayed until like Tuesday. And then programs didn't have access to you until like Tuesday night. So they really only had Wednesday to interview you. And then Thursday, there's supposed to be three rounds. Each round, you if you get an offer and a program extending you an offer, you can either accept or deny. If you deny all of your first round picks, there's no guarantee that you would get a second or a third round pick. So if you deny programs in the first round, you're taking a big risk. So for me, I got my offer in the first round and I accepted it. And you just feel kind of like you've been robbed of an experience because match day is supposed to be so exciting, so nerve wracking because, you know, literally everyone in the nation opens up that letter at the same exact time to figure out where they're going. And you already know, you know, so that excitement, that joy on top of the guilt and shame and denial and the grief that you experience on top of all of these emotions are overwhelming. And I'm so blessed that I was at a program at a school that gave me the opportunity to have mentors during that week to walk me through the process because some friends that I know at other programs that didn't match, they didn't have that. And I don't know how I would have been able to get through the process without having people there supporting me, talking with me, advising me on things to do. Um, so for those of you that tomorrow or today get that email or that phone call saying that you didn't match, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm getting emotional. I know it's hard. And I know that you must have so many thoughts running through your mind. But trust me when I say that you will get through it. It'll be really, really hard. Especially if you end up in a program that is not in the specialty that you wanted to get into. And you see your friends rejoicing and they're excited it's going to be hard and you might cry a lot and that's okay. And don't feel bad if you feel bad, if you feel like crying, if you're disappointed. Because some people will say, well, at least you're still going to be a doctor. But in the grand scheme of things, to you, you, have a, you had a goal. And medicine is so, I mean, we're all the cream of the crop and we're not used to detours. I don't want to say failures, but I'll say detours. We're not used to detours. So when we get faced with one so big, it could be, it can be traumatic in a sense because you have plans on, you know, where you're going to move and what kind of experience you're going to have. And then when all of that kind of just goes up into the air, you're kind of left wondering, so what now? So if I can give you one piece of advice, it would be take a deep breath and realize that truly, honestly, everything happens for a reason. And you may not 
understand the reason right away and it might take you some time and that's okay give yourself the time to grieve give yourself the time to cry then it's scramble week so you have to get it together and you have to hit the ground running because you want to make yourself as competitive as possible and then once match is over and you find out where you're going what i decided to do i didn't tell my parents actually where i was gonna go so um and it's you know everyone in the nation finds out at the same time so my mom went with my brother and then my dad went with me so i just had him open my letter so he could have that experience of finding out where i was gonna go and he was really 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 proud of both of us so that made me feel better um as you can see i'm still emotional about it because it was it was a very influential moment in my career but i can say that i ended up in the place where i'm supposed to be i love my program my co-residents are amazing the work-life balance for an intern even though i'm really tired it's better than most um so trust the process cry grieve you know if you feel comfortable sharing with your closest confidant share with them and then hit the ground running Apply to as many programs as you can. Sometimes that means broadening your vision of what you thought you would be as a physician. That might mean applying to multiple specialties and that's okay. And then once match is over and things die down, you might be sad because you it's a grieving process. You have to come to that acceptance stage of what happened. And you'll get there. But allow yourself the space and the time to get there on your own time. And don't let anyone pressure you and make you feel like you have to get there before you're ready. And no one, you don't owe anyone an explanation on what happened. You don't owe anyone an explanation on where you're going and why you're going to a certain place. Just know that everything happens for a reason you may not realize it then, you may not realize it six months from now, nine months from now, but there will come a time when you look back and you say, this event shaped me and I'm glad that it gave me tools that I'm using now. You might learn how to be a better navigator when feces hits the fan you know how to roll with the punches. It might be that you're more flexible, you're more compassionate, you're more empathetic as a physician. Um, so you can get through it. Again, I'm so sorry. No one will really understand the pain of what it's like to not match unless you've gone through it. If you need words of encouragement, please email, reach out on Instagram, Facebook. If you need someone to just listen or you just want to type out how you feel if your program your school is not really as um hands-on as mine was and you need a little bit of guidance feel free to reach out instagram leaving a comment or email if you want to remain anonymous um, for those of you that did match congratulations i hope that you end up at a place where you're happy and fulfilled and i will see you guys in the next video Bye.